Disclaimer, in this video we discuss topics of an adult nature so it may not be suitable for a family viewing. Asalaamu Alaikum guys and welcome to an episode that is demonetized so I can go raggle. Say what? It's probably an episode that would get 100 thumbs up by on the one hand Jimmy Savile and on the other hand Jeffrey Epstein. You gotta cater for your different audiences even if they're dead and being crapped on by worms. Rest in peace. Okay guys, so some of you may be aware that Netflix has started the promotion of a movie that they are planning to release on I think September the 9th. They have decided to call the movie Cuties which is rather worrying considering it's about an 11 year old girl who disobeys her parents to go and join a twerking dance group. You disgusting person, you are a disgusting person. And if that's not all, here's the promotional poster. The girls are wearing booty shorts, crop tops and in very provocative positions. Shame on you, shame on you, shame on you. Although Jeffrey Epstein and Jimmy Savile may be dead but it seems like their putters and their grandchildren are still roaming the streets and Netflix has hired them. But the description of the dance group as the twerking dance group got changed after a few of them realized, hang on just a minute. I think we've gone 100% pedoflex. Let's dial it down, yeah? Let's dial it down to say an 80. And that's exactly what they did when they called it free spirited group. If freedom is pimping your daughter out as some sort of streetwalker and getting her to dance on stage in front of ogling pervy old men, then you can keep that sort of freedom and I will gladly accept any label that you throw upon me. Naturally there has been outrage but what was interesting was it wasn't by Muslims immediately yeah because I think it's only about a day old so even when non-Muslims saw this they have gone crazy. In fact there's a petition that has amassed I think over 22,000 signatures in a day and when I last checked it was on 35,000 so definitely sign that. If we were to look deeply into this troubling endeavor that Netflix has taken upon its shoulders there's a number of problems yeah and I've noted them down. The first thing is they're sexually grooming our children. If you look at the parental certificate there's no warning so anyone can see it yeah. So even if you apply these parental locks it's not gonna be enough. The second thing is wrongly attributing femininity and freedom to sex and nudity. And next we have destruction of family values and the family unit because naturally in this story the family and the parents are seen to be the people that are preventing their daughter from having a nice time. Next it's a very interesting and destructive use of identity politics because they know people dislike Muslims and Islam so they're using them to push their agenda of you know sexualizing children. Yeah, people are ignoring that bit, they are treating the child as a child not as a Muslim child because unfortunately and sadly Muslims are being dehumanized in the media. So I think that was a breath of fresh air to see as well. And the final problem that kind of really stood out to me was desensitizing us to paedophilia. I mean I think it was about a, a year or two ago where even I think a major fashion brand were putting kids on the catwalk and giving them suggestive clothing as well and I mean a couple of years ago there was a TEDx talk which was attempting to justify paedophilia. Not to forget I mean there was uh, an MP yeah, uh, that was let off and there's, there's plenty of stories like this. Now there's many lessons that we can take from this. The first lesson I would say is keep your guards up as parents. Be involved in the upbringing of your children please. Don't just trust the TV and the little lock that you've put on there and just sending your kids to school and even yourselves when you're watching stuff always analyze. People that make these programs always have an agenda and make sure you train yourself in propaganda. The next point is that the lead is a Muslim. Oh, mama, no! 
and naturally she's got parents that have okayed this. So it leads us on to the next point which is don't be a slave to the dollar and the dime. Yeah, don't be a slave to cash and the only way you can do this is by training yourself and your families to live simplistically and not to depend too much on materialism. Things you own end up owning you. And finally conspiracies. Yeah, conspiracy theorists have been telling us about Hollywood and paedophilia for a very long time and some people just do a copy paste job. Conspiracy, no 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 forget that. But realize guys not all conspiracies are ludicrous. I'm not saying accept all conspiracies and nor am I saying reject all conspiracies. Be open. And the conclusion guys considering Netflix has okayed this, the, the there's an entire team behind this movie and Sundance have also awarded this movie. I think all of these people need to be investigated if there is any credibility to our law frankly. And Alhamdulillah for Islam that gives us morals, that gives us a guide, yeah, objective morality that we can live our lives such that we will attain success in this world and in the hereafter because if you were to ask to atheists they have no moral compass, you know what I'm saying? In fact they cannot even prove that bestiality or incest is wrong. Wait a minute! Wait a minute, what's going on here ladies and gentlemen? Yeah because they have no objective morality. That's why you have people like Lawrence Krauss and Cosmic Skeptic and even uh, Lars Goulet. You know they've debated Muslims and they've been asked and they said there's nothing wrong with it. Alhamdulillah for Islam. Let's leave it there guys until next time. I don't recognize this world. I don't have to recognize it. I just have to save it. Assalamu alaikum.